Hello and good evening everyone. Welcome to another live stream. I'm Winry and we are here for our first official day on the Pickle Pack 3 Magical 3 server from the Simpletons community. And I've been doing a little bit of work here. If you recall, I did a little test stream, I think it was last week. And it was overwhelming. You guys were like, yes, let's continue this series. Let's check out this pack. And uh, so here I am. Um, so I just built up a little storage room type of dealio here, kind of in a circular shape. I like to do those sorts of things. But you will see I'm not in my hidey hole anymore. The admins of the server have helped me to find a Twilight Forest biome. We are not in the Twilight Forest. We are in an overworld biome that looks like the Twilight Forest. And I specifically requested the Enchanted Forest, which gives you the changing colors here in the ground. I really like that. I'm going to get rid of those vines that are freaking out. but um, And I like the canopy trees. We unfortunately don't get a darkened sky, but I can live with that. Um, so we have a decent sized biome here. Let me just show you on journey map. So this is our biome. This here, there's a bit of um, the firefly forest right here. This is a plains. Um, there is a the obelisk from Thomcraft right here. So we do have a uh, sinister node. Um, there was a bit of taint here that they have started taking care of with the ethereal blooms to kind of protect my biome. But this whole area is area we can build in and I'm going to try to build in as much of it as possible. Um, so yeah, I've done a very small amount of exploring outside the area. Not a whole lot. Um, there is a village down here, and I mean really that's all. This is a roguelike dungeon right here that we may want to explore early on because the loot really doesn't get that exciting later on. Um, we may want to use it for the spawners. I don't know. So the plan tonight is to just try to get through some, some quests get some quests accomplished because I haven't done a whole lot. Um, I didn't want to progress too much at the start without you guys because there is a decent amount of progression um, already played into the quest books. So let me show you in the quests what I have done and then what we're going to work on tonight. So in here I have done a decent amount of the tinkering, the Tinker's Construct chapter. I got through quite a few of the tool levels. We are up to fairy tools, which I need a lot of zombie flesh for. And I did a bunch of the, the upgraded things here. So really, we're, we're at a point, I went to the nether, I built another portal and went into, into the nether. I grabbed a couple of Ardite. We need fairy tools in order to get the cobalt. So I was able to get a couple Ardite. I haven't done anything with it yet, but that is where I am here, and that is the only chapter I have focused on between streams. So you haven't, I haven't done any of this today. We're going to work on these things that have been unlocked um, tonight, see how far we can get with them, and you know, go from there. I do get a decent amount of block lag and latency since this server is hosted in the UK and I live in the US. So any building that is going to be done this series, any major digging, will likely be done between streams. So between the times that you see us progress here, I will be revealing what I've been building or what I've been working on and then we'll do quest progression during the streams. That is the plan, that's the hope. I have a couple ideas for building styles here. I have two different ideas. Um, one is to make something look kind of alien, you know, foreign for this, for a natural biome, something that looks out of place. I'm thinking maybe dark or unearthly block types, that sort of thing. 
or I'm thinking about going, um, hmm, not quite Wizard's Tower, but more of, you know, sticking to some of the Thaumcraft colors. So you've got the, the grays and the purples and doing some corner, some kind of a compound, a, a magical compound. And I'm not sure, you know, which direction I might go. Both of them require a lot of resources that we currently don't have. So we're just kind of going to do what everyone does at the beginning, which is just build wherever, get things started wherever they are, and then go from there. I would also like to get a golden lasso at some point. There are some rams that I'd like to gather and put in a pen so that I can have some sheep, some wool. So they're currently just wandering around, and I have... I have birds and squirrels and I've seen a couple of ravens. I don't know how long they're going to stick around in this area since I've been here. You know, I don't know if they wander off and get killed or whatnot. As we get closer down, you can see in my mini map all the little white circles and things. Those are birds and squirrels and see here we got a bird. Yep, so that's lovely. That's part of the, the Twilight Forest stuff. Hello 99, nice to see you. Hello Epic Blue. Nice to see you as well. So this is kind of where I'm setting up. Um, just a little PSA for you for tonight. Um, I don't know how much talking I'm going to do. I know usually I'm extremely talky. Um, I have TMJ, which is, boy, tim timibular joint something. It's to do with the jaw, where your jaw locks and clicks and fatigues really easily and this morning or this afternoon actually it got locked in place and I had to pretty much force my jaw shut so my jaw hurts I'm on some pain medication and I've iced it a few times but uh, as you can imagine talking is a little on the painful side hello tuto min menui min menui Tuto! We're just gonna shorten it. <laughs> yeah, so... Woo, right? <laughs> Here is the starter house I built. I have already moved out up to up there, but I wanted to show you. I just threw a house down, built into the wall. This is actually where my mining has been done. I have a enchanting table I threw in here, and then I also have um, the orberry bushes still in here. I haven't, you know, moved them yet, so I've got those set up. Um, yeah, hopefully. I have never ever in my life had my jaw lock. I have had it where it's like clicked into a certain position that I could like manipulate my jaw out of, but I've never had it where I've had to like take my hands and grab my jaw and push it shut. And yeah, boy did that hurt. Apparently, situations like that, I should have gone to the ER and had them give me muscle relaxers first. But, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, mine clicks all the time. All the time. Every, with everything that I do. All the talking that I do, it clicks. All of the, whenever I eat, it clicks. I st stopped chewing gum when I was like 13 because it started to, uh, just make it worse and I don't enjoy steak anymore because you have to chew too much so yeah things like that so this is the firefly forest here you can see the fireflies in a jar in the tree and whatnot it's so pretty um, I found a great wood tree over there that I marked we are 4,000 meters from spawn oh that sounds yeah well Hopefully Leclerc doesn't have to go through that again, 99, because it's, it's not, I did, seriously, I did research, reading up, well, I did Google searching after I, uh, had that happen, and, uh, yeah, apparently you're supposed to go to the ER because you could actually break Yay! your jaw. So, well, I had help, I had help finding a, a, uh, biome here, and... It'll work for me. It's got the it's got the enchanted stuff that I wanted, the different colors and things. So this will work. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do some of the quests today. Try to knock out those and uh, see where we go from here. 
Um, so we're not going to quite do any of the tinkering because as I said, I need some zombie flesh. Um, in order to make fairy, which it says here, you need 29 rotten flesh and one ardite and one obsidian. I don't have the rotten flesh and I'm guessing that this enchanted, f the um, twilight forest biome um, does not uh, spawn hostile mobs, regular vanilla mobs. I haven't seen a single one. Does the biome spread if you plant magical things? Does the Twilight Forest biome spread? I... I... I don't know if Twilight Forest biome spreads. I, I do know that, you know, you've got Silverwood trees, and those cause magical forest biome. Looks like this is all done. Yep. Yes, I like it a lot. I like how hilly it is. It's not flat. It's just pretty. And like I said, you don't see any hostile mobs on my mini-map. I don't think they spawn here. Merp. Congratulations. You've just officially become Yay. a dog of the military. <laughs> Called and go me. I mean, go you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for paying your membership dues, Calden. I appreciate it. <laughs> well, it's not necessarily one seven ninety nine. It just happens to be Thomcraft. Um, I haven't played Thomcraft since the let's see, the last pa pack I played Thomcraft in was Regrowth, I think. So, I love it. So let's get in here. I keep saying it. Let's get in here. Let's get some, slap some of this stuff together, mana pool, petal apothecary. Let's make sure these are the same recipes that I'm familiar with. <clears throat> no, this one needs a piece of mana dust in the middle. And then we've got the petal apothecary. That is different too. We need to grab a flower, which I think I have, and I'm pretty sure I have some mana dust. That would be in my magical chest over here. Okay. We need some mana dust. Living rock. I have a petal. Alright. So, um, if you haven't played this pack before, this mana living rock can be found in the ground. Do I have any cobble slabs? Whoop. Give me you back. I do. Um, yep. Alright, so we have a petal apothecary and a mana pool. We're gonna set this up, the petal apothecary, over here by this water. And the mana pool, we'll put it right here. We're gonna put probably whatever flowers we get, the day blooms or whatever. We might have to take down a couple of these trees, especially these ugly birch trees. Gotta get rid of those. So we get mana steel and a mana pool. And then, ooh. Hmm. Orange, red, light, blue, black. Okay, well, let's see. <laughs> Birch and diorite for the Fool Museum. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Um... Day blooms. Yellow, orange, light blue. See, none of those. Hmm. Let's do orange. What next? Make up your daisy. Well, that's not hard to do unless they've changed the recipe. Pure Daisy. That is exactly what I thought it was. Okay. 
Can you chisel things like diary? I believe so. I believe you can. Um, seeds. And water. And four white petals. All right. Da -da 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 -da. So that's done. Now we need to have eight living wood, which is we need to clear space for this. There we go. So I have no, I don't. I need to grab some logs. Um, it works for the pack. It does work for the pack. I'm not sure I'm a fan, but that's probably because, um, I love Batania. Like, major love Batania. <laughs> so the fact that it's changed some of the mechanics of Batania, hmm. But it does make it different and interesting, so I'm not going to knock it. Oh good, this does work. I wasn't sure if it would work with Twilight Forest Woods, but I'm getting the sparkles, so we should have this shortly and we'll have our living wood. What's next? We need just eight? Yes. Okay. Thaumaturgical insight. We need to make a de a Mm, do the arcane crafting, crucible crafting, the research table. Uh, in this pack, this table isn't used for much research besides the secret research. What it is used for, though, is combining research points to get the combinations. Ooh, I actually hear a mob! You mean I can actually get some mobs around here? I haven't had a mob the whole time I've been here. The whole time. Where is he? Uh huh. I don't know. Apparently, he's like with. Oh, I wonder if he's in there. No, he's. Are you in there? Let's find out. Oh, there he is. And with the block latency might be a little difficult to do some fighting so because the block latency causes a lot of issues with um, with fighting I'm gonna have to make sure um, I'm gonna have to make sure that I'm well armored so that I can take a beating because yeah I'm not good at fighting to begin with <laughs> so yeah I gotta do that I wonder if you can vein mine this Nope. You think that's cause that shouldn't be causing I doubt that's causing my latency. Cause it's just if you look there, I've got three, maybe four bars sometimes. So I don't I think that's just my connection to the server. I don't think that has anything to do with that. So let's go back here. We get two more pure daisies. Okay. So back into this. We need to unlock the research table, which means making tables and the scribing tools. Let's see if those recipes are what I think they are. Um, table. Yep, that is what I thought it was. So let's go do that. But adjusting the headcrump spawn rate would rock too, because I think they're pretty useless. I don't think there's any reason to to have that many headcrumbs. Okay, so I don't have any wood slabs. Does this make two? No, so I need to do this twice. Okay, so we have two of those, and then the scribing tools, I believe, 
I'm going to need a feather. Yeah, feather ink and a bottle. So let's see here. I have a feather. I have a feather. It's ink I don't have. And is glass in one of these? Okay. And so we just need to get some ink. Thankfully, there's a bunch of water right next to me. So let's put these pure daisies in here for now. And go over to the water and see if I can't find myself a squid. Usually, though, when you're looking for squid, you'll never find any. Um, this guy needs to go over near some grass so he can eat. There's some squid way out there. Let's see if I can't get to them. They're quite a ways down. I'll probably drown before I get there. Hello? Oh, you're so dark. Hello? Just, I thought I saw him. Hmm. There he is. Ink and some aspects. Tick tick now. Don't die. Of course, I come up and there's a bunch of them everywhere. <laughs> Apparently there's another zombie over here somewhere. We're up too high. So he's down inside of this somewhere. I can't hear him. So there must be a cave. Let's see if I can. Oh, see, now I hear him. I need zombie flesh. It's the only reason I'm kind of looking around. Now he's getting quieter. Uh huh. Ah, oh, come on, where are you? You're this way somewhere. Yeah. Come on. Oh, you didn't drop any. Oh, that's a bummer. All that digging, he did not drop any flesh. Oh, well. Oh, he dropped a brain. He must have been a Thomcraft zombie. Save those for when I need to go crazy. Am I up here somewhere? I think so. 
Yeah. All right, let's make those scribing tools. And there we go. So we should have completed that one. Yep, and we get paper and knowledge fragments. And then, of course, we complete that one for knowledge fragments. By completing quests, you'll be given lots of knowledge fragments. You can use these to gain research points by right-clicking them. Hopefully this makes the Thomcraft research a bit less tedious. You may also want to save some of the sum to make the special research notes. Yep. No problem. Alright, we're going to put you in there. Yay, rain! Okay, so a deconstruction table. Putting items into the into this deconstructs them into research points. Um, I think I actually need to make the scanning thing first. I need to make the arcane crafting table. The arcane crafting table is required for recipes that require V from your wand. Exactly. That should just be making a crafting table. Let me see if I can do this without looking it up. And right clicking your wand onto it. Tapping it with your wand, that's my hope. Okay. Right click a table. Oh, it's a table, not a crafting. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> nah, I was almost right. We'll put you here. There. Now, I want you back for now. And I'm not sure where I'm putting this. Oh, I need to make another table for my research table. There we go. And let's do that. Let's set it up just down here for now. And we're going to put that next to each other. And to make the research table, you just right click your pen on there. And we get another arcane work table. <laughs> oh, hang on. Whatever. We didn't have to actually make one. They'll come in handy. I need to read these in advance before I complete them because it looks like they're going to be a lot like that where I will get bits of the further quests from it. Um, Wand upgrade, arcane stone, world scanning. I have to... Um... Figure the deconstruction table out. Have not opened this. We have some of the stuff here. <laughs> this is what we're going to need to do next. Two gold, two of the shards, and glass. We can crack that out. I want you. Two shards. What do I have? I've got more of those. We don't have any gold smelted. So let's get that going. And then... Have that. So to unlock the deconstruction table, 
which direction? I probably need to do this direction first. Oh, it's right here. So I need to do... Mm -hmm. I need to do some scanning for aspects. Yay. All right. Um, which one is given in the book? Terra and Aqua. There we go. We got some Victus. Woo! And then I could guess some of these because I've done them before, but... Um, that's boring, right? Hmm. Yep, I knew that, that one was Mortis. So I just remember it as broken life. <laughs> it's <was> death. <laughs> so I remember that one. Um. Oh, that's another one I remembered. Lux is one of the first ones I remember. So, okay. Let's make our scanning tool, and I think this has the cheaty scanning in it. Yep. Yeah. Need to study what plants? Need to study tools. I don't think it'll work with. Yeah, I didn't think it would work with the bomb craft stuff. So we'd have to make a vanilla tool set. I was trying to see if I already had something. Let's see here. Need to study man. Aha! Well, let's tuck this aside for now. Okay. Lots of scanning to do. So we've got this. We crafted a thermometer and we get another thermometer. Sweet. Um, how to scan? Oh, look at this. Scanning the items on the following page in the order they appear is the most efficient way to unlock every aspect. Sweet. Hey, we already did this. This is the one the book gives you. And then Perdido Invictus from hey, I did this one, Mortis. I didn't de do Tempestus. Air and Aqua. Air and Aqua. Alright. Hey, this is awesome. So we trapdoor shard. Got shards. Oh, we need to do the trapdoor first. That's right. It says do these in order. What is when we do? She does them out of order. There we go. You need to study empty things. Oh, I need to scan a chest. There we go. I need to study energy. I don't remember having to study energy. Huh. 
<laughs> Look at all the things. You need to study this. You need to study that. I don't think I have half of the things it wants. I wonder if it'll let me scan this instead of a zombie head. You need to study beast. I need to go scan some animals for that. Okay. Um... It says I've scanned these, but I know I haven't. I've had them on me, though. Yeah. That's a bit of a flaw in the questing thingy. No, it doesn't have to be their shard. It just is, it's saying that I've done things that I know I haven't yet. So, it's saying that these are complete when they're actually not. So, I did I study the glass? Um, where did I put the glass? Okay. So now I should be able to scan the shard. Yes, okay. And then I need to scan... Does it have to be raw chicken? Maybe it does. Um, a zombie... I'm probably not just going to the zombie head, I could just scan a zombie. So, we'll have to work on those. Um, as we go along. Basic wand isn't good enough to make the wand you actually want. So that means you need to at least make this one, so you can make that one. <laughs> um, we're gonna have to go chop down some great wood. And I'm also gonna have to learn that in here. The gold wand caps and the Great Wood Wand Core, which we haven't learned the aspects just yet. So we can't do that quite yet. Um, let's start off with some basic arcane crafting. The first thing you should make is some arcane stone. It's very magical and very nice. We need one arcane stone block. Um, arcane stone, which is stone with a shard in the middle, and it needs one and one, which we have. Let's grab a shard. I have a shard, but let's grab one of these. And I should have some stone. Arcane crafting down here. All right, there we go, we have stone. Ah, oh, wrong book. And we get some rewards for that. And unlocks a couple more quests. Pedestals and the alchemical furnace. The goggles of revealing are something we're gonna want relatively soon. Excuse me. And in order to do that, we need to make another one of those lenses. I know, Tuto, I know. Won't that be fun? Get to scan other players. Mm. All right. Um, what's in this magical growth camp? Aha! Let's let's do a couple of these. These are probably relatively easy to do. Minicio seeds. I bet this is just seed wrapped in Minicio. Mm-hmm. We can do that. Let's put some of this stuff away. Minicio seed. All right, we actually need to make three of those. <laughs> I 
There we go. And Accio Essence is the tier one magical crops essence. Craft a weak infusion stone in an arcane workbench. Uh, apparently, I'm going to need to look it up. Yeah, I haven't learned all the uh, required aspects to do these, so we'll have to wait on that. Okay. Anything else down here? This thinks I went to the Twilight because I'm in the Twilight Forest here. We could make a magical map. Probably. I haven't seen torchberries, so that might be a thing, but I know I've seen a raven. I would have to kill the raven, of course. But, um, yeah. So, let's go back up here. We could go hunting for zombies. Um, so we can do these fairy tools. Might be worth it. We need to get a stack and a half, I think. One, two, three, to do those. It's a lot of zombies. You know where we could go for that? The roguelike dungeon. Definitely could do that. Um, put that stuff in here. Try and just clear my inventory of things. Paper. Put it with the magical things. Ink can go in one of the mob drops. And we don't need the water bottles. I wonder if the roguelike dungeon's um, loot table's been altered at all. So that they have different things in them. We should be at torches. We can sleep. We'll grab some water. go and I think we can go off to that roguelike dungeon get us some zombies try not to die we'll have to do this kind of like in a protective way I think that I don't die dying would be bad by the way if you want donkeys I've got donkeys all right, so let's see here. Oh, there's a squirrel. There's a zombie. Let's try to get you without luring these skellies. And I have um, hostile mob sounds turned up so that I can hear them. Um, simply because of the lag, so it helps. Well, they're coming from all over here. Here's something for one seven ninety nine. You can spam click. Can't do that in 110. Alright, so we have eight there. Yeah, because one one ten one seven is before the um, combat update. Maybe we can just run around out here and get zombies. Um Does it? So many people hate on it. Um, I didn't like it at first, but I, I'm like, you know, it's a new thing, and it might just be that I don't like it because it is new, um, and not have anything to do with whether it's good or bad. I actually appreciate that its combat is harder now. I mean, it gives you some. You have to be more strategic. Yeah, 
in the way you hit things instead of just spam clicking the heck out of them. So. Alright, our main goal here is to not die and collect zombie flesh. Zombie flesh is what we need. So, we'll do it this way. We probably won't need that. Hello. Oof. Thank you, lag. Alright. I swear these things usually have a way in. Oh, it's over here. Okay. one is that down there? Is that zombies or skellies? I can't tell from here. That one is skeletons right there. That one is zombies. That one right there is where we want to head towards. Alright. Now we're going to play this probably super cheaty. Okay, so that is not skellies. Hmm. Could have swore that was skellies. <laughs> that was zombies. Now that I see it up close, that is not zombies. Alright, how about you over here? Are you zombies? Stained glass, huh? <laughs> you're not what I want to dress either. Does that mean you're not. Ah, oh, they're both skellies. Darn it. I don't want you. Skellies are a pain in my backside. And I'm gonna get all this stupid armor that I don't want. Move. Back off, both of you. Listen to all the groaning. Where is it? <laughs> That's what I want at. Okay. Anything good in here? Oh my goodness. Enchanted books? I'll take. Um, rotten flesh. We'll leave that for now. Okay. So that's skellies right there. <sighs> mm, is that zombies? Spawn for me. Come on, you can do it. You're spinning. Are you a zombie? You're a zombie. That's where I'm going. Ah, 
Hi. Come here. Oh, I forgot about you. No, no, back off. Oh no. No, 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 no. Any of you you're not. None of you are giving me I should have grabbed the golden bags of holding that I had. <laughs> I forgot. You're sure not producing a lot of zombie flesh for me. Give it up, man. Ah, man. <laughs> I think this is my first death. Oh my goodness. And I didn't have a home bed. This is not good. Ah, nuts. <laughs> I forgot to make a bed, guys. Is that like Minecraft rule number one or something? So I have um uh, 4,000 miles to walk. Ah, nuts. Alrighty. Is there gravestones on here, or am I gonna have to worry about, um... Am I gonna have to worry about... Take you and you. Is there food in here? Me struggling off. Um... Alright. So, let's see what else is here. We'll take a sleeping bag and... We'll take you. We'll leave the rest of this alone. And then, which way am I headed? That way. Okay, off we go. I- wait, did I? I might have. Let's find out. Actually, hang on. Before I do that... Um... Since I might not need to go places. Let's put some of this stuff back. I can do slash back. See, these are things that I keep forgetting. Um... Oh, but see, this will kill me right away. How do I get you? Yeah, that's probably not a smart thing. This is also not a good place to... This is my spawn in point? I mean, mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. 